Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. We are doing lung pathology and this is chapter number 13 of medium robins and restrictive lung disorders mein hamara aaj ka topic hai pulmonary eosinophilia. So we are now approaching towards the end of discussion regarding restrictive lung disorders and ek do videos mein bas ab ye cover ho jayega major diseases hum kar chuke hain now this one is important because exam mein particularly eosinophilia ko lekar aksar questions maujood hote hain there are some particular particular syndromes jo aapko yaad hone chahiye which will point uh, the answers in the direction of eosinophilia as the name indicates main hamesha kehta hu ki naam mein bahut sari baatein chupi hoti hain so pulmonary eosinophilia would definitely mean ki there are eosinophils within the pulmonary system so a number of disorders are characterized by pulmonary infiltrate rich in eosinophil dekhen there are some disorders jisme acute uh, neutrophil pahunch jate hain then there are particular disorders jisme aapko zyada tar cd4 positive and cd8 positive cells milenge ya macrophages milenge but this Uh, is the list of disorders which may predominant uh, immune infiltrate kaun sa hoga eosinophils okay and they are uh, not there uh, without any reason they are actually called upon by there so there are release of chemical chemicals which are called the chemotactic effect and they actually call the eosinophils to come into the lung spaces ke bhai idhar aa jao so these factors are then called chemotactic factors so such diseases are of usually immunologic origin because they are involving immune cells but the etiology is not fully understood however it is imperative for you to remember these few names because ye exam mein bahut 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 zyada puchte hain wo disorders jinme eosinophilia is the primary immune infiltrate within the lung spaces so the first one is acute eosinophilic pneumonia with respiratory failure what a complicated name but look at it it is acute it is pneumonia and it is eosinophilic pneumonia and it is with respiratory failure so the name is long but simple characterized by rapid onset of fever because it's pneumonia dyspnea because you see there is respiratory failure so there will be hypoxia diffuse pulmonary infiltrate on the chest that's kind of a serious looking condition the bronco alveolar lavage if you do fluid typically contains more than 25% of eosinophil there is prompt response to corticosteroid so although the disease look nasty but if you start corticosteroid it respond very very well so that was disease number 1 which is called acute eosinophilic pneumonia with respiratory failure not very uncommon in the clinical practice so we routinely see this i mean and the second disorder that you need to know is very famous loeffler syndrome which is also called simple pulmonary eosinophilia See this was complicated eosinophilia this is simple eosinophilia so it is characterized by transient pulmonary lesions eosinophilia in the blood and benign clinical core so these are i mean uh, less nasty looking disease the alveolar septa they are thickened and hence the restrictive lung disorder and they are thickened by infiltrate which also contain eosinophil so there is more eosinophil in the blood there are eosinophil within the alveolar septa as well then the third disease is called tropical eosinophilia it is caused by infection and microfilaria and helminthic parasites along obviously ye aapko pata hai ki jab parasitic infection hoga to eosinophil count usually goes up so this is then easy to remember then the number 4 secondary eosinophilia this is seen for example in association with asthma or some drug allergy so there is another primary problem such as asthma or drug allergy and then you see increased eosinophil count in the blood as well as infiltrating within the pulmonary spaces and then the last one is called idiopathic so we don't know the cause chronic it's chronic in nature eosinophilic pneumonia so one we had acute eosinophilic pneumonia and the other one is called chronic eosinophilic pneumonia characterized by aggregates of lymphocyte and eosinophil within the septal walls and the alveolar spaces typically in the periphery of the lung field and accompanied by high fever night sweats and dyspnea so you may uh, take it wrongly to tuberculosis or maybe lymphoma this is a disease of exclusion once other causes of pulmonary eosinophilia have been ruled out so although it's a small cute looking section in the text but this is very commonly tested in examination so i would strongly recommend that you go through each one of them and understand how to pick these diseases once they are presented to you in the examination okay particularly they are always very interested in the loeffler syndrome so that concludes our discussion on this small topic pulmonary eosinophilia we will next talk about smoking related interstitial disorder which will then wrap up our discussion on restrictive lung disorder so all the very best i'll see you in the next video very soon